Greetings Commanders and welcome back to another Odyssey tutorial video. Um, I've done one of these previously on exobiology um, but didn't sort of show um, how to identify the planets and how to scan the planets and then how to uh, arrive at the place where the biological life forms will be situated on the planet. So um, I'm using a app website called commanderstoolbox.com which is courtesy of youtuber down to earth astronomy um, i've gone to the uh, daru witcher system and identified uh, courtesy of the list that he's put up uh, atmospheric planet and as you can see it's a metallic one um, these generally have a lot of life forms. The ones with icy uh, don't tend to have any life. So these are the ones that you should be looking for if you're out in the void. Um, so I'm just uh, orbiting the planet now. So I'm going to deploy the scanners. One might have done it, but just to be safe. There we go. And as you can see, this one's got quite a few different types of biological life forms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select somewhere on the surface that is, um, well, has lots of stuff on there, but, but also somewhere on the day side, which is really, really important. So, well, it'll be easier for me to show you if it's on the day side, so... These tutorial videos were inspired by my clan. I've um, been playing Elite Dangerous for years, but they haven't had much to do with Odyssey, so I thought I'd help them out by producing a couple of videos that would give them a bit more of an insight about what to do in all aspects of Odyssey gameplay. Okay, cool. So we'll set down somewhere here. Yeah, pretty unique shaped planet, definitely not completely round. Not too rocky. This bit looks quite flat, which is nice. Cool, we got some nice things here, close by, so. Get it down. Okay, so um, usually here what I do is deploy the SRV. Um, you can get back in your ship and fly and, and to another uh, part. What you basically need to do is you need to scan three of the same organism, um, but a decent distance apart that they are um, different variants. Um, that gets you the credit and the reward. Um, if you are out in the void, and like these systems here that have already been discovered and you get a newly discovered, you also get massive, massive bonuses. There's potential to earn billions. Okay, so I'm just going to use these plant ones for now. So, uh, keyboard and mouse for uh, on foot. Uh, as I was saying before I got disconnected, um, I've set my um, right mouse button up to scan, um, which should come up green if you 
uh, scanning the first type or second or third and you're far enough away from the previous sample and then right click to scan the object and that should now come up one of three um, the aim of the game then is to get back in the SRV or in back in the ship fly or drive far enough away to get the next sample Hopefully this will be far enough away. Sometimes it isn't. Yes it is. There we go. That's where you get that little noise. Some of them have got some really nice features. use those because they're probably far enough away whereas that one probably wouldn't have been so like I said to you earlier I'm using commander's toolbox courtesy of down to earth astronomy the youtuber um, this is a real quick fire way of earning lots of credit in the bubble There we are, and that's it, it's all complete. So that's your sample, that's all stored, and then you can go on to the next type of life form and rinse and repeat. Um, I hope that helps anybody starting out on um, exobiology. Obviously you do need the Artemis suit, which is the one that does have this scanner. Um, so it's essential that you do have that one with the scanner. Um, but uh, yeah, any questions, just uh, comment in the box uh, on YouTube. If you do um, have any questions, that's great. If you would like me to cover some other things that you haven't had covered before, you're unsure of things, uh, again, leave some comments. And as always, please like and subscribe to help me grow the channel. Um, 07 Commanders, thank you for watching.